On this episode, I'm going to tell you all about a huge pet peeve of mine that keeps getting done to me and that you're doing to people, and it drives me out of my mind. And when you do this, when you make this one mistake, it's crushing any chance that the people you want to hire you will ever hire you. I'm going to tell you all about it right now. What is up, guys? Welcome to episode 337 of the Massive Agent Podcast. I am your host, Dustin Brome in Salt Lake City, Utah. And uh, today we're talking pet peeves. But this pet peeve is I see you guys doing this all the time. And this is done to me all the time. And y- you can do better. All right. So if you're ever trying to get someone to let you, for example, be on their podcast, uh, if you want to get someone's attention, if you want to, if you want someone, if you want to get a buyer to get on a consultation call with you, if you want a seller to let you come to their house and do a listing presentation, all of these things, there's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it. So here's what spurred this. Well, actually, I'll get to that in a second because I got a text message the other day, this awful sales text out of the blue that just set me off. And so, so I started taking notes and, and thinking of you know how, how I'm going to relate this to uh, the overall conversation of marketing and, and sales and conversion and all that stuff, because it just pissed me off. And it, it pissed me off because it happens all the damn time. So I'll read that text in a sec, and then we'll get started. But before I do that, if you are in the Atlanta area, Atlanta, Georgia, on June 25th, June 25th, I'm going to be in Atlanta for a for an event it's called coffee and collab and this is so myself bob tompkins ryan zook connie carlson this is for agents of any brokerage this is not just a real event this is this is open to any agent at any brokerage and um and so I highly recommend if you're in the Atlanta area, you come to this event. I would love to meet you. There's going to be a ton of training, a ton of great um, networking. There's going to be happy hour. It's just going to be one fun freaking day. Uh, so if you want to get tickets to this, if you're in the Atlanta area, go to coffeeandcollab.com. Coffeeandcollab.com. Get your tickets. I believe there's only 50 or so left out of maybe 200. So uh, jump on it. And I'll see you in Atlanta on June 25th which is actually the day after my birthday, which is cool. So I'm going to be in Atlanta on my birthday, should be golfing. So that'll be cool. Uh, And by the way, uh, agents who have not yet, uh, pet peeves, all right? I'm going to get a little spicy on this episode, like it or not. Hopefully, if you're you're a regular listener, you probably like it. Otherwise, you would, would have turned this shit off a long time ago. But it boggles my mind how there there's certain tools you have available to you as agents, certain levers that you can pull that you're just not, but because you're you're skeptical or you're like, oh, I'm too busy, I'll do it later. But then you keep struggling with the shame, the same shit over and over and over. That if you just listen to people who were ahead of you in the journey, or if you just use some of the same tools that those who are top producers in your market are all using you'd be so much further ahead. And it's no secret uh, it, to me, it, it's completely obvious why so many of the biggest producers in our industry, in your market, in my market, in all of our markets are all using Keeping Current Matters. And you can try it for free, right? So instead of being like, well, I don't know, I don't want to spend any money. Don't go to trykcm.com slash BAM and try it out. So Keeping Current Matters, it's basically just having an entire team of economists and housing experts on your side to do all the research and tell you what's coming, what's happening, what is happening in in this high interest rate world. And then not only that, telling you exactly how to communicate it to buyers, exactly what it means for sellers, exactly what it means for investors. They even have scripts for doing videos and social media content. It's freaking awesome. So it's kind of a clue when those who are selling the most homes all use Keeping Current Matters. And you can try it for free today at trykcm.com slash BAM. I highly recommend you do that. So let us let me tell you about this text message that I got the other day. Now, I, I don't know who the frick it's from. Um, hey, Dustin, this is Jace, whatever. Are you still an agent in Utah? I would love to get on a call with you. That last part right there, I would love to get on a call with you, pissed me the fuck off. Or, or irritated the shit out of me because it happens all the time. I, I see this all the time. It, and and look, 
this podcast, we've been successful, right? We have a big audience. We've been, we've been doing this for six and a half years now. And so I'm blessed that a lot of people want to be on this podcast. The wrong way to do it is to say, is to send me a freaking DM out of the blue when I've never talked to you before, which happens five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 times a week. Uh, hey, Dustin, I'd love to come on your podcast. It'd be really good for me. Like that, I'm pretty much summing up these messages. Hey, I would love to be on your podcast. And my, my thought is absolutely fucking not. What the hell is in it for me? Is it, so when this person wants to get on his, I would love to jump on a call with you. I bet they would. But why the fuck would I spend my time doing that? What the hell is in it for me? Like, wh- how would I benefit from that phone call? Th- they would love it. So I must, I must spend an hour. I must take time out of my busy day. I must distract myself from the shit that I'm working on. I must take time away from my family and my business and the stuff that I like to do from my life because someone else would be happy if I gave them my time. As much as I'd love to do that, it's not realistic. And you know that you don't just give your time freely to anyone for any reason. That's bullshit. Like no one would ever do that. And if you are, stop it. Your time is the most valuable thing on the planet. So if someone just wants to jump on a call with me because they'd love to, sorry, why the fuck would I do that? Here's what it, here's where it matters, right? If you are putting out marketing messages or so this could be in your marketing, or this could even just be in your communications. Hey, I would love to jump on a zoom with you. And what? Why would you, what the hell? So you have to reverse engineer this or not reverse. You have to flip this when you want someone to do a certain thing, when you want to get on their podcast, when you want to, um, you know, be a, if you want to have them as a guest on yours, if you want to, uh, if you're trying to interview somebody for a video show you're doing, if you're trying to get a buyer presentation, a listing presentation, what is in it for them? If you're recording videos on social media, stop. Nobody cares what you want. Nobody cares what you want. Nobody cares what you would love to do. People only care what's in it for them. I know that sounds harsh. It's also the truth. Nobody, you're never going to get traction on anything you're doing, any conversation, any conversion, any social media content, any marketing campaigns whatsoever. If you are constantly just telling people what you would like, And what's important to you, no one cares. You have to start flipping it. And before you even create that piece of content, before you make that phone call, before you send that email, before you send that that God awful text, say, okay, what's in it for them? So if this person wants to get on a call with me, then tell me why I should. Why the hell would I spend five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever of my valuable time that I'll never get back to go on that phone call? You have to tell me why it's in my best interest to do so, why I would find it valuable. Social media content, stop telling people what you want them to hear. If you're social media, if you're not getting business from social media, and by the way, that event in Atlanta that I'm doing, this is what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to dive very, very deep on this, but I'm going to give you a little uh, like spoiler here, right? You're still going to get a shitload of value if you come. But the, the, the message is if you are telling people what you want them to hear all the time, but you're never telling them what they want to hear. You're never giving them what's in it for them. No wonder you're not getting business from social. No wonder nobody's watching your shit. No wonder nobody's responding to your freaking emails. No wonder your text campaigns uh, fall flat. Of course, no wonder the sellers, no one's wanting you to come over for a listing presentation because you haven't painted it in the right light. You haven't told them, hey, I need to come over because, hey, I could, we may be able to sell it for more than you think it's worth, but I've got to see the house first, right? And then I've got to show you, you know, how we can do that. I know some strategies where I think we can actually squeeze more out of the value, uh, but at first I need to see the house, right? So with investing, if you guys are, are investors or ever work with cash buyers or anything like that, well, People just want the price, right? Sellers just want the price. Well, sorry, don't give it to them, right? But how the hell are you going to give them a price? How are you going to give them a value when you've never seen the fucking house? You've never been on the inside. It could be the Brady Bunch with orange shag carpet on the inside. 
how are you supposed to give them an accurate value without seeing the house? Right? So if you would like an accurate, an accurate value, and we may, you, your house may even be worth more than you think it is, but I'm going to have to see it just to verify. You know, I got to see what kind of upgrades you've done. I need to see what shape it's in. I want you to show me all the cool upgrades you've done to the house because it may be worth more than you think it is. So now they're like, oh, it may be worth more than I think it is. Maybe, maybe not, but okay, that makes sense. Yep. Come on over. Let's do an appointment, right? They see what's in it for them rather than you saying, hey, I really need to, you know, I would love to come over and meet with you. Well, if you would love to come over and meet with them, why? <laughs> why? Because they're thinking, well, that's time out of my day. That's interrupting my schedule. That's during dinner time. Like my, my kids have soccer practice. Like, you know, no, like you'd love to come over. Flip it. You need to start telling people what's in it for them. Okay. What they want. Tell people what they want to hear. Social media content, create content that's helpful for them, not content that just it's you telling them what you want them to hear. When you can make this switch in your content, in your conversations and everything, I guarantee freaking tea, everything will start working better. Everything will start working better when you start telling people what they what when you give them what they want, tell them what's in it for them rather than coming from a place of, hey, here's what I'd like. Here's what I want to tell you. Here's what I want you to know. They don't care. They only care about what's in it for them. You know this. This isn't harsh. This is, this is real shit. Like this is, we're having a real conversation here, a real adult conversation. So if you're struggling, I need you to audit why. Okay, start, start figuring out, you know, what are you saying? How are you saying it? Are you coming across as you're just telling people what you want, but you're never actually telling them what's in it for them? Why should they want the thing that you're offering? Why should they want that service that you're offering? It, I mean, this is more relevant than ever with the new buyer agency rules and, and structure, right? I mean, if you want a buyer to agree to pay you your commission, you better tell them what's in it for them. You've got to get really good at that. And we've done lots of episodes about this in the past and we will in the future, of course. I'm not going to dive deep on that today. You can go back and listen to those episodes. But the concept is you have to sell what it is that you're offering people and what it's going to do for them. What, how it's going to benefit them. What's in it for them. How is it going to be good for them? How is it going to help them accomplish what it is they want to accomplish? And it, as long as you can start everything you do from that vantage point, you're going to thrive. You're going to thrive because most professionals in this, in this industry are not that professional. They just keep telling people what they want. It, you're telling people what you want. I'm trying to use a few different uh, like voices here. This, this is not good. Like, um, or what's it called? Like first person, third, whatever. If you are telling people what you want them to hear, you're doing it wrong. You need to start telling people and giving people what they need. There's not, there's not much more I can say about this. I don't need to beat this, this horse. It's already dead. You guys get the point. But audit every conversation, every interaction with other humans that you have, like with your kids, with your spouse. If you keep telling your kids, you need to do this because I said so. Does that work that well? Does it really work that well? Are, are your kids gaining respect for you? Are they eagerly doing what it is you want? Or are they, or are they like, oh, fuck you. And they just go do it because they, they want you to stop yelling at them. Well, what if you explain to them why it's in their best interest to clean their room or brush their teeth or organize this or go to soccer practice or whatever, right? Everything in life works better when you focus on what others need. Simple as that. So audit yourself, audit the way you do things, the way you say things in all aspects. Anytime you're communicating with anyone ever, remember this. I appreciate you listening this week. Share this episode, please, with someone who needs to hear it. If you found this valuable, share it with your broker, a team leader, share it with your friends, share it within a Facebook group or a community of agents that you're connected with. Share it in your stories. Make sure you tag Massive Agent on Instagram. For God's sakes, if you're not following 
following me on Instagram, you're missing out. Instagram, YouTube, at Massive Agent, make sure you do that. And by the way, these episodes, if you, some of you guys know this because you're watching this, but if you're listening to this, every single week, the podcast comes out on Thursday. It has ever since we launched six and a half years ago, the podcast, the new episodes come out Thursday morning. Wednesday morning, a day before, the episodes come out on YouTube. So if you want to get these episodes a day early, make sure you subscribe to the Massive Agent YouTube channel where you can get every episode a day early on Wednesdays on YouTube, but you've got to be a subscriber on YouTube. Appreciate you listening. If you're in Atlanta, coffee and collab, that's a coffee and collab.com register, get tickets. I'll see you there on June 25th. Take care.